What is up my viewers, Spang here bringing you a World of Tanks gameplay commentary. This time it is my Tiger P. <laughs> Apparently Waco knows some people on our team. This is the new assault gameplay type uh, on Corellia. Basically, our job is to kill the enemy team or capture their base, one or the other. Things get a little, little too close for comfort here at the end. Um, and I'm not going to spoil it, I'll let you see what happens. Now, I'm going to say right off the bat, this IS, I don't know exactly what's going on with him, uh, nor do I know later what's going on with the 3601H, but they both act very stiff and suspicious. Uh, oh, it basically looks like they're botting, so I report them for botting, uh, just because they act like bots. That's all there is to it. Uh, <laughs> apparently, this guy says the game needs the wallet warriors. Uh, yeah, maybe. See this IS? Look, he's kind of like, I don't know what he's doing. Watch, right here. He's gonna kind of plow right in front of me. Not really pay attention to where he's going. He's moving very back and forth, jerky. Like I said, acting like a bot. And watch, right here. Drives right into the wall. It, like, he could be getting lagged, but the fact is, he uh, just the way he acts through this entire game. I, I basically thought he was a bot. Anyway. As you see, I decided to push south. I am pretty much the only thing that's decided to push south. I don't count that IS, and the T-59 is kind of, the Type 59 is pretty much leaving me in the dust. Um, we do basically have some artillery cover with that GW Panther. Uh, our other artillery, the M-12, I don't believe he's able to cover us. Uh, pe people still going on in the chat, kind of ignoring it. <laughs> our Type 59 getting hurt a lot right off the bat. I got a KV-3 over there, a t uh, T-25 slash 2, and a Type 59 up there. So I'm going to back up to a more defensible position here. I'm tempted to go all the way back, but then I say, no, this rock is good enough. Type 59, kind of uh, going at it with the other Type 59. They're both kind of... I'm going to help them out here a little. T-25 slash 2, taking a shot on my side armor and getting right through that. Our team basically telling our tanks on the ridge to get off the ridge. It Yes, that can help, but in the grand scheme of things, most of the time, it doesn't. Unless you're a tank destroyer, you should not be on that ridge. Um, even then, it's very iffy. You probably shouldn't be on it for too much. So I'm going to help it with this Type 59 some more. See right here, this IS driving right by me, grinding up right against me. Um, just kind of doing his own thing. Not, I don't even know what he's doing right now, turning like that. And he basically just gets himself killed by that Type 59, killing our Type 59, and I almost kill him, but um, not quite. I was hoping he won't be able to go in that corner. And so RIS is dead, providing me some cover, actually. T25 slash 2, right there, taking a free shot at him. 3601H, sitting right there, taking shots like an idiot, turning like that. Like, that's what I mean by stiff movements. I think he's a bot. So we have another Type 59 here, a 25 slash 2, and I know that KV-3 is right there. So at this point, I'm a little concerned. There's basically four tanks over here, and yeah, sure, one of them's very close to death, uh, but still, that's four tanks. That's four shots I can't take and survive unless I bounce them. So I'm saying basically I need to fall back uh, and basically make it so they can only shoot my frontal armor. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That KV-3 could have flanked around my backside and taken me out. Same with that Type 59. So going right here, it makes it a lot harder for them to do that. And I believe our northern push looks to be doing rather well. Tanks pushing up the center. Um, not sure how great of an idea that is. We still have those two tanks up on the ridge. One of them is a low. I can't recall what the others. KV-3 expecting me to be right there. I wasn't. And he died. <laughs> Simple as that. KV-3 getting taken out and getting killed. And uh, center push still seeming to do okay. Northern push definitely looks like it's uh, getting held up a little. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few things up north that can shoot at them. And here with that KV-3 gun, I'm feeling a little more confident on pushing up. But still, potentially there are three tanks over here that can basically shoot and probably take me out a lot faster than I can take them out. That's just the numbers game right there. 
I fire one shot, they fire three. Who's gonna die first, do you think? Obviously, it's gonna be me. So, center push, the heavy tank in the center of ours getting taken out. Those two guys still on the ridge, not really being too much of an asset. Uh, I have a little medium tank coming up to help me. It is an M26. And uh, Type 59 is saying, you guys realize we have to attack, right? Yeah, it's a low and a panther. Uh, panther 2, right? Yeah, uh, it could be a panther. I didn't quite catch it. So we're basically, our team's basically trying to coax our guys off the hill. People saying the low doesn't know any better because he's a wallet warrior. That may be true. Um, I know this Type 59 is still over here. I haven't forgotten. And so I'm going to try to take a shot on him here. You know, without really exposing myself too much. I don't want to turn my frontal armor towards him because if that other Type 59 and that T25 slash 2 are over there, uh, that could end very badly for me. But I'm trusting that M26 is going to have my back. Either that or <laughs> he's going to draw more attention. So I'm going to just go up here and take this Type 59 head on. He got through my armor a little, but uh, he's not going to live for much longer. Right here, he dies. And so I'm very concerned. I'm turning my frontal armor back to where those T25 slash 2 and the Type 59 were. Don't want to get shot in anything but my frontal armor against those guys. Uh, apparently our AMX 1375 has lost his driver and his engine, basically losing every advantage he has. Our northern push definitely not doing very well for itself. Uh, at this point, I think it, if I recall correctly, it does get wiped out. Right now at this point, we do have the Panther in the low coming to back up our southern push. To be completely honest, I would have uh, <laughs> preferred to see them go north, but whatever. The enemy team getting a little cocky, saying, good game, we won. Uh, I wouldn't say you've won quite yet. Teams are pretty even, and <laughs> yeah, 82, you have 10 minutes to cap or kill, move it. Yeah, that is one of the biggest differences in this game mode. Um, you only get 10 minutes. Right here, we have the little French tank running, and I'm like, run, Frenchie, run! <laughs> and he is going to try and get out of there. That is one thing about those French artilleries, is they're really fast, but not fast enough. He's trying to swerve and dodge. Nice little serpentine you got going there, my friend, but it will not save you. I've got plenty of experience killing little fast scout tanks, and when you're that far away, it's a pretty easy to read your movements and tell where, what you're going to do. Uh, T25-2, I am trying to kill him, but can't quite seem to hit him. No big deal. Oh man, T M18 jamming my turret at this point. I I believe I kind of make a fool's decision right here, and I will repair my turret. Um, type 59 right on my side, trying to keep my frontal armor mostly angled towards him. And right here, bouncing a shell from that T28. And that is no small feat. Uh, no, actually, that must have been the M18, because the T28 just rocked my world a little. Type 59 trying to shoot me a little, but, you know, it's one of those things right here, I am very near death, anything shoots me, and I am dead, if I don't balance it anyway, so I'm going to take a shot where that Type 59 was, swing and a miss, T28 getting killed by our artillery, thank you uh, very much, <laughs> that was pretty much the biggest threat to my armor, now things have to hit me just right if they want to get through it, otherwise I have a pretty good chance to bounce it. Here we go, M18, I'm going to try to shoot this little guy right over here. And I do believe I get a hit. Yes, I do. I believe that's the last hit I get. Uh, as you can see, down to the wire at this point. We have one minute left. One minute and 15 seconds left. GW Panther, again, killing that M18. GW Panther really pulling it for himself. Your Tiger P was afraid of me. Um, little... Yeah, you're saying I was afraid of you. No, I was afraid of the three, four tanks that I would have had to fight at the same time. The Type 59 killing me. And he's saying I was afraid to engage him. I was afraid of getting outnumbered and flanked. Uh, I was not afraid of his individual little tank there. Our team capturing the base with this many tanks on base. We could win it. The last tank alive. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of the possibility of fighting three tanks with no backup. And I was the only one there. Uh, tried to let him know, hey, don't get too full of yourself there, buddy. You didn't really do all that much. It was your team. And right here, we do have a chance. Right now, we can cap this and win this. But wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, look. Our medium tanks. They're going over to kill that Type 59. Idiots, you only have 20 seconds. Come on. Oh, too late. So right here, it is getting way, way, way too close. 
We are down to 13 seconds. They left. Lol, lol, lol. He thinks he's... They think they won. They're saying lol, fail. M26 getting caught right there. But GW Panther pulling it off in the last three seconds. You could have won. Oh, we could have won? Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware we lost. Oh, wait. We didn't. <laughs> so... I get a total of 1,513 experience, good, uh, decent amount of credits earned as well. Ego, I, like I said before, I've seen them quite a bit, and they do seem to be full of themselves. <laughs> I'm gonna trash talk you guys, you guys set it up so easily. I mean, it's really, if you get a clan name like that, you better expect to take some flack. So I did fire 20 shots, 15 hit the target. I took a total of 8 hits, not too bad for a tier 7 tank, uh, taking on tier 8 tanks, you know, survived probably longer than I should have. Battle Heroes, uh, one guy on our low did can get, get confederate, so the low, people might have said he was being useless on that hill, apparently not so much, he did get confederate, so, in terms of what he actually did, I can't really say, but the uh, T25 slash 2 on their team getting sniper, yeah, that totally wasn't going to me. But, as you can see, very, very close match. Uh, <laughs> way too close for comfort. I think they should have stayed on the cap and gone with a more solid strategy rather than risk it. Okay, the only thing that should have gone after that guy was our artillery. Our medium tank should have stayed back because they had all the capture points. Let's think about this. Don't get greedy, Please, you, we could have easily lost this. This could have easily gone sideways and ended in a loss. Uh, don't risk a victory for a greedy kill. That, in my opinion, it just doesn't counter. Uh, it doesn't balance right. Because you fail, you lose. Whereas the other one is a guaranteed victory. Anyway, if you like this video, click that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you have a replay, send us a bang, replays at gmail.com. Uh, as per usual, the email will be in the description. And uh, <laughs> this has been Spang, and you can suck it!